Eric back in the naturopath. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Let's talk about irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, a condition that I'm all too familiar with, that a term more than a condition that I'm all too familiar with. It's very easy, um, you know, to come up with some type of a fancy syndrome name when you really don't know what the hell is going on with a person. So this is where this word syndrome comes from, okay? Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome, okay? What about I couldn't care less what the person's got, I just want them out of my room syndrome? That's probably more appropriate. That's why I call IBS a garbage can diagnosis because it's a great place to dump the patient in when you're sick of their problems and you want someone else to pick the garbage can up and take it over to their place so they can have it, okay? So it is a, it is a garbage can diagnosis because you know there's a reason why something's irritated down there and it needs checking out, okay? I would say in many cases that the physician's more irritated than the patient's bowel in that case. Okay? They just had enough of people like that, they want them out. Because they want to deal with easy cases, okay? Like, I can't poop, or I've got a headache, or something like that. <clears throat> Here, take this pill, come back tomorrow, and you'll poop better, you know? Well, people are a bit more complicated than that. Right? There's usually a reason, a clear-cut reason, why a person had IBS. When you go back in the case history, that's one of the first things I usually ask a person. How long have you had the condition for? When were you last truly well? What are you, what do you believe are some of the triggers or events that led to you getting this problem in the first place? Okay, that's the key thing to ask a person is what do they think went wrong? Because patients actually have got brain cells. They can think for themselves, unlike some doctors, you know, think that only because they've got some sort of degree of qualification that the lump of meat in front of them, you know, has got no ability to understand what's going on itself. Well, that's sad. Patients know what's wrong with them. They've usually got good hunches and good feelings about what their conditions are, but they're often dismissed by someone who's like an expert who knows everything, okay? Well, last time I checked, there was only one God, and I ain't seen that person yet, so I assume that most people don't really have much of a clue about what's going on these days. Right? Testing is the key thing, the testing. So we often talk about still testing on this channel for that reason. The patient needs testing to see what's going on in there. Right? A case I discussed many uh, months ago on YouTube was a lady we had from the South Island who had an, an irritable bowel for over 20 years until a stool test, you know, which I really wanted her to have, showed that she had a massive parasite infection in the bowel. The poor woman had never a stool test done. She was checked for food allergies. She had all sorts of kind of weird radionic testing, all kinds of strange you know, tests by people, but nothing really concrete until the stool test found that she had a Giardia problem. Giardia parasite, which was dealt with, yeah, and that was her IBS, unfortunate, you know, problem she carried around for 20 years. So if you've got IBS, it is reversible in most cases if you get the correct testing done. If you can find someone who will do the tests and finally discover that, hang on, there is something in there causing a problem. Could be food allergy, could be parasite, could be candida, whatever it is, it needs checking out. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for tuning in.